Overwatch and Counter-Strike have had a baby, and it's Project A from Riot Games. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I am Stylosa. What we're going to do in this video is break down the announcement trailer for this game. It's all early alpha footage, but this is Riot's FPS game. It looks frankly insane, but do remember, this is early alpha. Things could change, but what we're looking at here is a tactical hero-based shooter that is Counter-Strike Go meets Overwatch. This could be incredible. So, as I said, what we're going to do is break all of this down. There's a lot of things happening here. We've got what look to be ultimate abilities, hero abilities. This here apparently looks like an ultimate throwing daggers. Is that smoke? Is that a shield he's deployed? We don't know. What we're going to do though first is just run through all of the gameplay elements from the trailer in real time and then we'll slow them down and explain what's going on and try and look for details because there's a lot going on. So here this looks very counter strikey very fast time to kill as well, um, although they did look like headshots. That little explanation there of the little bit of artwork and then the heroes, that's basically about, yeah, it's in a near future Earth. Does that sound kind of familiar to any Overwatch players out there? Probably does. Yeah, uh, a lot of big kind of line of sight blockers here. Uh, that looked like you could walk through it as a character, so maybe it was just smoke. So it looks like the game's going to sort of focus heavily on a lot of line of sight blocking stuff, but not actual shields and barriers. Although just saying that, you just did see a wall get destroyed. There was a lot of detail in these clips though, and I know I am kind of glossing over it, but like I said guys, we are going to slow this down, break it down and go into detail because there is a lot of details here. Like for example, you can see the Unreal Tournament logo there or the Unreal Engine in the top left. That means they're using Unreal, which means that the game's probably going to run a really, really fast. Unreal is built for FPS games essentially. Well, you can build any game with Unreal, but incredible stuff. We've got things like them talking about the cheat detection, the net code that they're going to improve. That's fine, you know, devs always say this kind of thing. They're, they're cool buzzwords for us to be like, oh yeah, cool, better cheat detection, better um, net code here. You see like the sort of cheat detection, like apparently somebody's cheating here, like he's got wall hack. Oh no, the match has been terminated. Cool. How that'll be implemented, we don't know. Might it be some sort of severe sort of anti-cheat install uh, on our computers most likely. All right, so this is the clip I want to show you first. So this is them discussing netcode. Top left of the screen, I'm going to blow it up and show you guys. That is the Unreal Engine logo. That means this game is running on Unreal, which means it should run really smooth and run across a whole myriad of different hardware configurations. That is really good because, well, that's what Riot's about, right? Try and get as many people as possible into the game. Will it be free to play? Probably, right? Really good graphics engine, really efficient graphics engine. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This this is a this looks like Counter Strike. I'm not gonna lie, it looks straight up like Counter Strike. Twiddling a knife and then you've got a score screen. But you've got a score screen coming from Overwatch. You don't have this. That looks like it's probably going to include kills and deaths and all that stuff. The next big thing is this. Look at that. It's a buy menu. I think what we've got here is Counter Strike style shooting, tactical shooting clean shooting, and then Overwatch Heroes with the Counter-Strike buy system. Now, I'm going to stop this here, and we're going to try and look at this in more detail. It looks like we've got weapons in the middle of the screen. To the right-hand side, there's two sort of, I guess, player silhouettes. Possibly that's armor type. And then at the bottom are those grenades you can purchase. Is the left your inventory? Possibly. We don't really know here, but this is super cool to look at. Because for me, you guys know, I'm a massive Overwatch fan. Stuff like this really interests me because Counter-Strike is where I originally came from. My history of gaming, it started with, well, it started with Day of Defeat uh, for FPS games. And then it moved on to Counter-Strike 1.6. And then I just sort of went through the motions and ended up somehow playing Overwatch, but really enjoying Overwatch. This looks like it's taking me back to my roots almost and giving me that Overwatch spice that I, well, I'm absolutely, well, honestly gagging for, which I do really enjoy. So yeah, buy menu, buy phase at the start of the game and uh, well, a score screen. So what we're gonna do here is slow this section down. I'll show you guys the section again and then we'll really slow it down so we can try and break down what's going on. So look at the sight lines here. This is very CSGO-y. Now there are X Counter Strike map developers that work for Riot. So I'd presume they're working on this. There are also X Overwatch developers that work on this and I'll tell you guys about that later on. Um, but watch the time to kill here. This is referred to as TTK. Watch this, so Snaps shoots them in the head. Now that's a headshot, right? Critical damage, you can see in the middle of the screen it says headshot, person goes down. Top right, we've got the kill feed, very similar to Overwatch uh, and Counter-Strike. You know, a lot of games have the kill feed at the top. Double headshot icon in the middle of the screen, that's interesting. Now it's going to bring up ADS, nice sort of hollow sort of scope thing. And uh, yeah, a few more shots to kill that person. Also a headshot, triple headshot, big stuff. But very clean, that's the thing, very clean. And the aesthetic of this game, it really does look like Overwatch CSGO, doesn't it? It's that sort of, I don't want to call it cartoony, but it's very stylized, sort of 
simplistic kind of design, but there's a lot of detail there, and it looks very clean and fluid with, with the CS kind of element thrown in. So what we've got here is, first of all, the letter B on the wall, this is bomb site B, uh, throwing in a grenade. Now this grenade could possibly be some form of toxic cloud or just a straight up line of site blocker. You see, it's thrown over there and it looks like a cloud. It may do damage, we don't know. Like, we've got no way to know. Um, but that player now, the vision is obscured. One of the hero abilities, I guess, of this character, again, we've got no idea what this character's name is, seems to be a massive, absolutely massive May style wall from Overwatch. However, players can move through this, and we'll see this in a second. So again, this is just a line of sight blocker. So we've got two line of sight blockers here, a grenade, a wall which has been deployed. Then this character moves forward with a shotgun, close quarters, combat damage, high damage output. As it moves through the smoke, the smoke disappears. That player's there, shoots the player, gets a, a, a headshot, I believe that is, or at least a kill with the shotgun, and moves towards the site. Now, we don't know what's going on, on the site. Is that the objective there they were looking at? We don't really know. Do you just capture the point? Again, we don't know. Why was the letter B on the wall? Is it bomb site B? Do they need to drop a bomb? Who knows? So here, this is the massive smoke wall. You see the player emerge through the smoke. So that confirms that isn't a barrier. We hate barriers because we're Overwatch players. So here, this clip, we're going to see in a bit more detail a, a bunch of abilities which might trigger people <laughs> if you play Overwatch, right? So what we've got here is Bombsite B. Straight away, you can see Bombsite B. That's cool. Watch as the player dies, though. He throws his weapon. This, to me, was the confirmation before we actually seen the screen of the buy uh, screen, which I've already showed you guys uh, when I watched the trailer for the first time, that we're going to be able to pick up weapons, which probably means we can buy weapons. So your weapon is not linked to your hero just your abilities are so the first thing we're going to see dropped here you can sort of see the, the the marker on the floor like the target reticule on the floor there that is a different ability to what we just watched because that's a wall and they have to shoot through that and then what this player does is resurrect somebody so this is like mercy and may have had a horrific baby it can res people <laughs> and it can make a solid wall now we don't know what the hp of the wall is but we'll see in a second it will get blown through See, it takes damage and explodes, and then this player will return fire back through the wall and get a headshot, which is beautiful. Now, let's take a look at this segment here. This character features quite heavily in the trailer, and actual interesting bit here is one of the ex-Overwatch uh, animators actually worked on this hero because he did put a, a clip onto Twitter. So, first things first, it looks like we've got a smoke grenade out there. Now, these color effects might just be team-centric, so white team and the green team, maybe. I don't know. So, I think that's a smoke. Kills a couple of people with a bunch of headshots, really fast as well, like really rapid time to kill with headshots. Then pops what appears to be an ultimate ability, which lets him fly, and then instantly kills people with, well, headshot daggers, which seems mad. I mean, a lot of this seems completely mad when you see how fast people are just dying. But that's kind of what Counter-Strike's right, you know? And if you play a lot of Overwatch, you know, you're not generally used to just instantly being killed unless you get like a Widowmaker headshot or Doomfist punches you or May shoots you in the head or Hanzo shoots you. So I guess you actually kind of are. All right, so this is Josiah Ham... Well, uh, sorry, Josiah How... I can't say your name, what's happened to me? I'm Darkbot, Josiah, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is an ex-Overwatch developer showing off a GIF of what he's been working on. This is Project A character-based tactical shooter. I mean, yeah, ex-Overwatch devs are working on this. And when you can actually look around and see there's been a lot of developers that have left Blizzard and the Overwatch team over the years, have they moved to Riot? Are they working on this game? That kind of gives me faith that it's actually going to be really good when it comes to the hero element. Because you can say what you like about Overwatch, but it's very diverse with the hero designs, the hero abilities in the most part. And it's actually really fun. I mean, when Overwatch launched, it was an incredible game. Now, of course, you know, it's a game that's four years old. The, you know, things are going to develop over time. So it's interesting to watch that. But I just think that this is a cool bit of information that we've got ex-developers from Blizzard that have actively moved to Riot and are working on this game. It's almost like they've poached the, the knowledge. I want to show you this from Slasher as well. Slasher's a legend. Go and check him out on Twitter, at Slasher, you can see. Um, so he says, Riot has had several current and former pro CSGO players and former pro Overwatch players try out and play test Project Errors over the last year, which we think is what uh, Project A refers to. It has been in development for several years, sources said. They have given it nearly unanimous praise. Now, one thing I'm going to say about this is this was the same for Overwatch. Overwatch got unanimous praise when it first came out. They got a lot of TF2 uh, ex-pros went in and played the game and were like, oh, this is incredible. Same is happening here. But what is interesting is it's CSGO players and it's Overwatch players. And the very first thought I had is this game is CSGO and Overwatch has had a baby, like I said at the start of the video. 
You could say it looks very similar to Dirty Bomb. Uh, and I think Shadow Run actually was kind of similar to this. That was a game that came out years and years ago, um, where it's sort of this mixture of, it is tactical, it is a fast time to kill, but it isn't focused on, like each hero doesn't have a different weapon. You can all buy the same weapons, but you've got different ability sets and they kind of work together in concert. Now, I don't want to go off the deep end here and like this is some incredibly ridiculous savior of games and it's the best game ever. I've been seeing a lot of people going, oh my God, Overwatch is dead. Um, CS goes dead and whatever. Those games are not dead. Those games serve a purpose. They serve an audience and they're great games. The thing with this is it's early alpha, but it's a new FPS game. And what really interests me about this is it should not suffer from a lack of player base. Now, it's probably going to be free to play because it's Riot, right? But I doubt it's going to be, you have to pay to play the game. That will increase the number of players. It looks very clean. So from an eSports aesthetic, it's going to be super clean to watch. CSGO is the best FPS game to watch, hands down. Overwatch is good if you know what you're looking for. The problem is it's very messy if you don't. So it looks like what they're trying to do here, Riot, is find a very healthy middle ground. I'm going to continue to cover this, guys, when we get more information. I'm actually really interested in this to see where it will go. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I've been Stylosa. This is Unit Lost. If you guys enjoyed the video, then, well, let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and I'll catch you lovely lot on the next one. Toodaloo.